guys, Barbara here from Barbara Makes Crafts and I am the creator of BarbaraMakesCrafts.com and there you will find all these fun crafts that I love to make, that I love to share with you. I love to teach you guys how to do these awesome crafts. They're not always perfect, but practice makes perfect, right? We can go over them again and again. So tonight I want to show you how to make this awesome, beautiful, uh, sharp cutery board and it's food safe once the epoxy cures. So um, we're going to get started. Um, the things that you're going to need for this craft, of course, will be um, your blank sharp cutery board. Blank sharp cutery board. And this, of course, has an, has an X on it, but it's not too deep in. So we're just going to sand that right off. And the next thing that you'll need is vinyl. And I'm using black um, heat transfer vinyl and green heat transfer vinyl also. You will need weeding tools. And of course, you know my favorites are the um, weeding tool from Cricut and the Stab and Grab Tweezers from 143vinyl.com. And guys, my um, heat transfer vinyl is also from 143vinyl.com. Guys, they have this stuff very, very inexpensive, almost cheap. And you can buy one 12 by 12 sheet at a time if you want to. Um, plus, they have all the colors in bulk. So no matter how you want to go with it, 143vinyl.com, a um, perfect place to get your vinyl. And um, I will be linking to all these products down below in the description box so that you will be able to just quickly find all the products that I'm using. And you will need something to stand your um, board up on once we, uh, well, to put the epoxy on and then once to let it dry and cure. Um, I'm just going to use solo cups, turn them upside down, that'd be great. You will need, of course, epoxy resin. Um, and it's a two-part thing, and this is ZD Sticky Adhesive. Um, of course, there's a, a resin and a hardener, so you need both of those. You'll need something to stir to mix your epoxy in, um, because you know you mix part A into part B. And um, I found these silicone cups on Amazon, and these are great because nothing sticks to them, not even this epoxy. Um, you just let it dry and it just um, comes right out. You're also going to need a um, standard grip mat. Um, I'm using two of them. You, you can do it with just one if that's what you have. And you will need some kind of heat press and I'm using Cricut's Easy Press 2 to press your heat transfer vinyl on. And of course you'll need your Cricut machine and you will need your design. All right, so let's get started and I will see you at Design Space. So I have the design loaded onto my screen and it is um, about eight inches wide by eight inches long. Um, we know my charcuterie board is nine by ten I believe it was. Here's the design that I want to use and now what we need to do is um, add the name which is going to be Melissa and I'm going to do that in the font Esmeralda. Once you hit that text and that text box comes open you will see the drop down for the um, fonts and so that is the font that I want to use and I'm going to type Melissa and I'm just going to put it in the middle there and I'm going to expand it to make it bigger so that it fits in there and it looks good all right and now I am going to select all and I'm going to 
going to align. I'm going to center horizontally and then center vertically. <clears throat> okay, so it's all centered. And the next thing that I want to do is just select on the name Melissa. And I'm going to go right up here to this colored square. And I'm going to turn this green because that is her favorite color. But once again, I'm going to select all. And I'm going to group. So that I can move it all together down. And I'm going to go over here to shapes and add a circle. You can add any shape that you want for this. It's just so that you can get things lined up. Now, just size that down and put it somewhere over your image, um, kind of centered up. But it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. As long as your um, design is centered, you're good. All right, so once again, I'm going to select all. And again, I'm going to hit group. And we need to duplicate this one time because we have two layers. So we need two designs in all. So I'm just going to go up here where it says duplicate and duplicate. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. You can see the layer that we're on because it will be grayed out over here. So on this first one, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to hide where it says the text, the Esmeralda, and you can see the name Melissa just disappeared. And then let me make this a little smaller so we can see. So taking the second layer, I'm going to once again look at the grayed out area to tell me which um, design I'm on and I'm going to hide the mandala. All right, so now I need to do, I need to make these circles the same color as the design they're associated with. So I'm just going to go right up here to color sync and I'm going to take the circle and move it right to the layer above it and it will be the color and it will change to the color of the layer that it's with. So just move the circle and you can see that circle turned green. All right, and now the very last step before we cut is going to be, we want to attach these together. We want to attach the layer and the circle together. Um, so we're gonna select each piece of the design and just go down here and hit attach. Okay, so now we are ready to make it. <clears throat> this is where we're going to prepare our mat and we're going to cut on the mat. So on the mat and then done. All right. And because we're using HTV or iron vinyl, we're going to turn the mirror on. And it's very important that you turn the mirror on each mat separately. So just select the mat and right there toggle that little mirror on and make sure that you know which mat you're working with because on this screen, the one that is grayed out is not the one that you want. And the one that is white is the one that you want. The next thing it's gonna do is ask us what material we're using. I want to set that to heat transfer and I'm gonna use more pressure. And you can see this warning right here. And it says, make sure your mirror is turned on when you're using iron-on material and that the material is shiny side down. So you will get a reminder. And to make it easier for you, just um, check that little box that says, remember material settings. You won't have to go back and reset the material for the green mat. But now we are just over at the machine. We're, it's telling us to load our materials. So we're just waiting on the machine now.
difficult to weave, which is this one because it has a lot of detail in it. These are my favorite knitting tools, as you know, the um, stab and wrap tweezers from 143vinyl.com, and I love my quick Cricut weaving tool. I'd like to know what your favorite weaving tool is. So if you will just comment down below and let me know, um, that would be great. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the excess vinyl from the backing. Safe. 
once it cures after about seven days. And what you want to do is mix equal parts of epoxy and hardener. Well, you put them in separate containers and then um, mix them up. So let's start with the epoxy. And I just, all right, so I'm gonna put about, fill about half this cup with the epoxy because we want to be sure and have plenty. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio. All right, so here we are. It's been, it's been actually a couple of days. And you can see how nicely that shines and how pretty it is. And it's just gonna be an awesome Christmas gift. Um, this one's for my daughter. So um, I'm really excited to share that with her. So be sure and uh, give this video a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and ring that little bell right down there so that you don't miss a single video that I put out. And um, until I see you again, happy crafting. Bye.